the holy sacrifice of the Mass, Monday of Holy Week. Our entrance antithon, Contend, O Lord, with my contenders. Fight those who fight me. Take up your buckler and shield. Arise in my defense. Lord, my mighty help. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we prepare our hearts to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins, journeying with Jesus to our salvation, his cross where he poured out his blood for the forgiveness of sins as we pray. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are splendor of the Father and his word made flesh. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says the Lord God, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people, and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge, of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamped against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. 
Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our faults. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Now six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus has, had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served. While Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with Jesus, Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, and the one who would betray him said, Why was this oil not sold for 300 days wages and given to the poor? Judas said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus whom Jesus had raised from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the words of this Gospel. Brothers and sisters, truly from the beginning, death has been at war with life since, since sin entered the world. It is not the other way around. Death, darkness, and evil do not ever seek peaceful coexistence with good, light, and life. As Jesus himself says, they are from the thief who comes only to slaughter, kill, and destroy, which is why we have entered this week. From before the foundation, the lamb who was slain now is walking that journey to Calvary, spending the week with disciples who themselves are wavering in their faith, but not Jesus. It's amazing that sometimes in these times when our own faith is wavering, the world seeks to undermine our faith, seeks to attack everything that is good. So again, it says that Judas was a thief, used to steal from the collections. 
that supported the ministry of Jesus and here he is trying to take the moral high ground and asking why all of this oil was being wasted on the feet of Jesus it was once again a prophetic sign of what was coming but Judas did not even consider what was in the heart of Mary what kind of humility and gratuitous love for not only the love that Jesus had for her as her friend but the love that God has for her in giving her the gift, giving all of us the gift of his only begotten son. Jesus reminds us that this world is not our ultimate destination. And while we are in this world, we will have trials and tribulations. But without Jesus, that's all we have. Whereas, once again, he comes to usher in the new creation, to share his very divine life with us through the indwelling of the Spirit, and to reconcile us with the Father and begin the process of our reconciling with each other making himself the perfect answer to the prayer that he teaches us. Let us be mindful in this week, the times that we kind of interfere, we uh, become jealous or um, envious of all of the things that are given to God. And once again, we begin to take away from what rightfully belongs to him. It is merely a turning of the heart. I would rather be the Mary uh, who is on my knees crying before the Lord that my sin caused him pain that made his cross a little bit heavier to carry. I would weep also, and the love that came forth in that humble heart of Mary's was far sweeter than the aroma of that aromatic nard. So too is our repentant hearts sweeter than all of the incense that we can burn, all of the um, kind of acts that we do should come out of that pleasing fragrance to God, a gratitude that flows from the grateful heart having been redeemed, sanctified, and given new life in the risen Christ. With Martha and Mary and all faithful disciples of Jesus, we pray have mercy God in your kindness. As we respond to these petitions, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the bride of Christ on earth, the church under the leadership of Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, and the Bishop-elect of the Diocese of Birmingham, Alabama, for all of our brother bishops in communion with the Pope, that she reminds all of her children to draw ever closer to our Lord Jesus, carrying his cross to our salvation. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who serve at the church's table, 
And for those who anoint the elect with grace and care, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who provide hospitality to travelers and the lost, even if now it is just in the spiritual prayers that we offer for all of our brothers and sisters throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who care for the weary feet of the poor and the homeless. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who remember and keep alive the memory of holy women. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who bathe the sick and tend their wounds. As we pray for all those who are in need of healing, whether in mind, body, spirit, or heart, especially those suffering from the effects of the coronavirus, and especially all of the heroic doctors and nurses, physician assistants, nurse practitioners, and all healthcare workers um, seeking to ease this crisis and provide comfort to those who are sick, that they all find the one true and eternal font of healing through the power of the name, Jesus Christ, the Nazarene. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a very special way for um, the parishioners of St. Paul Onaway and St. Monica Afton, with all of our brothers and sisters, the people of God of the Diocese of Gaylord, that in the spiritual communion, <coughs> We are encouraged to share that God might fill us with every grace and blessing in the heavens, especially the grace we receive when we receive him, body, blood, soul, and divinity. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our beloved dead, Join with the communion of saints, knowing that their prayers are always on our behalf. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray for all of the souls in purgatory and for those souls who have no one to pray for them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the conversion <coughs> of sinners. In the salvation of souls, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the transitionary period and the ministry of our bishop and bishop-elect of the Diocese of Birmingham, Alabama, Stephen Reka. We also pray that the Lord may send us a good shepherd after his own heart to succeed our bishop. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of us gathered here, that taking from this altar, Jesus who shares himself with us, that we become by his power, his living sign, of his hand reaching out to save, calling the world to life through his holy name, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, lover of your people, with tender care, and Mary prepared your son for burial as her sister Martha offered him a final feast. By the example of these holy sisters, may we also have the courage to stay with Christ as he journeyed towards his passion and death. For by his holy cross, you have redeemed the world now and forever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be acceptable to you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, O Lord our God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, beloved, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here. And may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we have incurred bear for us fruit in eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the hosts of angels adored your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. <coughs> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Quid holy specata muni, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, quid holy specata muni, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, quid holy specata muni, dona nobis pacem. May this be the of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the God, 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 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. And may the blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. Is past our lips as food, O Lord. May it be for us. May we possess a purity of heart that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Amen. Our communion antiphon. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Turn your ear towards me on the day when I call. Speedily answer me. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray. And with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection, we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation by which your mercy we have received. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities, not only with bodily observance, but with all, but above all, with purity of mind, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Once again, thank you for joining me, brothers and sisters. Um, I forgot to mention at the Palm Sunday Mass that we are storing all of the blessed palms and at whatever time we're able to come together again, you can pick up your palm at that time um, and uh, know that they'll be as fresh as we can keep them. And just remember that you are in my daily prayers all day and know that you are loved.